Hi everybody, Emmanuel here from Majesty's House of Music. Today I want to talk about some Seben music. Okay, as you know, we have a full course on Seben. So for those of you who just want to learn Seben, it's a course running for over two hours where we look at different Seben progressions. So if you want that course, just check the links uh, in our description below this video for details of the course. But for today, we're going to look at an extract from that course, okay, some seven. Um, the fourth chapter of that course talks about variations of, uh, of the one, four, five, four chord progression. That's a very common progression in seven. One, four, five, four, but we're going to look at some variations, okay? This is part of that course. As I said, if you want the full course, just check the description below this video. So enjoy this lesson and ensure that you subscribe to our channel. Watch till the end. Welcome to the second, the second section of part three. I will call this the second section of part three uh, because now in this part we are going to look at variations to the progression we did in part three so we did one four five four that was the one we did in part three so now in this second section we are going to be looking at now one two five four and uh, one six five four basically the one six five four is just a change in baseline of the one <laughs> of the one two Five four. So you are, you are going to see it's actually one six two five four, but we are going to cover all that. So now the the other one was one four five four. Okay. So if you want to alter this progression, it will now become one. So instead of going to the four, you go to the two. Then now five four so that you don't repeat four twice okay so so instead of this you will play this okay now and what we are going to do is to make the two major okay so you are basically going to play an a flat major chord then five four and for for our right hand uh, we are going to try to transcribe a certain guitar line it's from a very old song yeah if you can if you can find it it will be good for you uh, some very old song by who are these people they are maximum melodies i think kids or something a very old song they usually play that kind of progression one two five four so it's called akuna mungu kama such a song a very old song i don't know if it's on youtube or it's just in the VCDs for those who still have them. But it's a very old song. Okay? Um, but now, this is this is what uh, it will sound like. Now, uh, let me start with the right hand because it is more complex. So let me just play a demonstration of it. Uh, and then we'll will will break it down let's say you take this to 100 okay still on a sharp okay so it looks something like that
what I'm actually going to do now to help me get the notes I want to get correct okay I'm going to I'm going to change that octave for my left hand okay I'm also going to change my right hand octave okay and then I'm going to do something of this sort so I'm going to do something like this I'm going to increase my split point I'm going to do something of that sort then now I'm going to play from here the reason why I moved that is because I want this four note I like it when it's down here so yeah so second variation to the bass line so I'll still keep what I'm playing on the right but I'll do such a variation on the bass line so those are the two variations so the first one so let me teach you how to play the right hand so you start with this so you do the same thing on f sharp so f sharp and b flat or f sharp and a sharp then now you press the c sharp note so then you go and do the same thing on f flat but thrice now you you do this once Okay, so so this is a flat this is C this is e flat so okay you pl you press a flat and C three times then e flat so okay so So that's C sharp, D sharp, F, G sharp. So, 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 so. Once you land on this G sharp note then you land on this too so this is G sharp and C sharp then F so so to the four chord uh, so these two first F sharp and B then this so 
So, so and now you will land on the two minor chord. So, so this is this is G sharp. This is B. This is D sharp. So. then you land on those two notes so that is the f sharp and the a sharp okay so Like our tradition will start from tempo 65 and then we we go upwards okay so, so this I will sound like this variation so the, the last variation you could add is this so G sharp and B then you have A sharp and C sharp back to G sharp and B then back to F sharp and A sharp so so 